Hey yo, uh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be working on the fireboat that we started in the last episode. So if you haven't already, don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord, there'll be a link down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways guys, let's get into the video. Alright, so getting started, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, finish up on the cab. So, I don't think we have doors yet. Um, how many research points is that exactly? Okay, so it's 10. We're gonna have to do that in between, um, hopefully soon. Right. So we're gonna need uh, 10 research points. Actually, we need eight, eight research points to get to that point. Um, so, we're just gonna go ahead and work on this. It's going to be a open, uh, opened up uh, bridge at the moment. So, uh, let's go ahead and grab a driver's seat. It's going to be turned into a helm a little bit later. So what we're going to do is we're going to ele elevate it a bit. So we're just going to go ahead and bring it up like this. And place it down like that. Um, I think we're just going to put it on one side. Just for now. So we're going to go ahead and make like a sort of side panel, I guess you could say. We're going to move it back a couple blocks. Just so we have a bit bigger of a panel like this. So now we're going to go ahead and make the walls for that panel. Uh, we're going to finish this little area back here. Um, let's go ahead and drag this back to here. So this side panel is going to be too wide. It's going to be too tall as well. So we'll stop right here approximately. And right here we can just go ahead and place a little wedge thing uh, to help people get up even though it's not necessary. Um, so... Now we're going to go ahead and work on the rest of the actual ship. So the bridge is going to stop. Uh, we'll go with right here, I suppose. Um, so right here, there's going to be a door to a, either a ladder or like a little walkway thing. So beyond this point is going to be a lower area, uh, which will be where some of the uh, actual equipment to put out fires would be so one cannon would be up here the others would be back here um, So back here, we're just going to elevate this platform and Right here. We're just gonna go ahead and close this off Like so and now we're just going to go ahead and place this here. So the door is going to be right here uh, We'll leave this blank for now and we'll just put a ladder at the moment uh, just temporary so we're just gonna go ahead and delete places for that. There and there, that'll work. All right, um, so back here, all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and place two windows and then we're just gonna make another door right here, which we'll add later on. Um, how much do windows cost? Okay, 10 each, okay, that's not bad. All right, so now we are going to add a rail for this part. So it's going to be uh, with a rail instead of uh, the other rail, which we do not have, it's under the, uh, decorations category, which we have not researched quite yet. So, um, we're just going to make a couple points where you can get down with, uh, ladders. So one will be over here. We're going to go ahead and place these down to here. We're going to delete every other and just place two. That'll work just fine. Actually, let's go ahead and add a couple more. So maybe just two more one there as well as one here and um, uh, for the cannons back here we're just going to have some fire hoses uh, not fire extinguisher okay some hoses I guess you could say uh, we'll just place two right here okay so now that we got the hoses down what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab a uh, output for them I guess you could say that we can attach them to so we'll just go ahead and place it right here actually you know what let's go ahead and make a little tower for it that'll be interesting so it's basically basically going to be an elevated tower um so we'll go ahead and grab a ladder this one right here we're going to go ahead and build it up a couple blocks to approximately right here this will work um so we're going to go ahead and delete down to right here. And we'll delete every other block, like so, all the way down to the bottom one. And then we're just going to grab pipes. 
And we're going to drag them all the way up to right here. Um, this is going to be on sort of like a post looking thing. So we're just going to go ahead and make that. Um, so it's going to go ahead and be round uh, in, in a way. So we're going to go ahead and drag this up to here. Actually, hold on. We don't need this block there. So we're going to go ahead and drag this down to here. And we'll add these wedges to make it round out. Um, so there's going to be a platform up here. Uh, let's, I think we should do maybe a seat, I want to say. But I'm not certain if we should do a seat at the same time. So we're just going to, instead of doing a seat, we're just going to do a platform. Um, so it will be supported off the front of the uh, bridge. So we're just going to go ahead and make these support looking things. I guess you could say. Um, so we're just going to go place them down like that. Um, so we'll go ahead and make this part a little bit wider and this part a little bit longer. Um, actually, I don't know if we should keep these. Okay, we'll just leave it as this so far. So we're just going to make it round like this. So it's going to be three on each side, then a wedge as well as over here like this and then we will add a uh, quick rail so th this is going to be a temporary rail until we get the rail decoration which will work as a proper rail so we're, we're just going to wrap it around like this at the moment um so what we can do for this part so we can go ahead and grab a pipe this one right here we can go ahead and just drag it up to here we'll grab a hose this one right here a hose anchor, I guess. I guess you could say, uh, yeah, fluid hose anchor. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and place one of these up here so we can access it um, in case there's a fire that we need to put out. And then we will add a toggle button, which will activate the pumps to pump water up here in case of a fire. So what we're going to do for that is we're going to go ahead and paint it red. Um, we'll go with sort of this color red, but it's going to be a little bit more custom, so it'll probably be this color red, I'm going to say. Yeah, so we're just going to go ahead and paste, uh, paint the entire post red, so it'll look a little bit cooler. Um, after we paint this red, we're going to start painting the whole of the ship red. That'll be um, pretty good. Uh, so we're just going to go ahead and fill paint up there, as well as here, and here, as well as here, here, here. And, uh, yeah, we'll just go and paint the entire thing right up here. All right, guys, now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and paint the rest of the whole uh, black color. So, um, for the, this part, we're just going to go ahead and finish the railing, I guess you could say. Um, we're just going to make it uh, one by four wedges from right here. And we're going to sl uh, slowly slope it down every 12 blocks. So we're just going to go 8 here since we have 4 to start with right here. So this will be 12 and this will just be the last layer. It's going to be one block tall the rest of the way around so we don't fall completely off. There we go. Uh, that works fine. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this red color and we're going to start painting. So. Um, we're just going to use this black color around the perimeter of this part. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and drag this all the way along the outside. Like this. Um, actually, okay, so we don't have paint blocks quite yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint it to right here. And then where the these 1x4 wedges are, I'm going to go down a block each time there we go now we're just going to wrap this part all the way around now we're going to grab this color of red we're just going to fill paint all of this um actually we might do all of it except the water line so we're going to go ahead and paint all that there we go um all right so let's go ahead and paint this back area all of this including that now we'll go ahead and paint this top part as well um so um i'm not certain on 
if I want to keep this dark red color. But I could if if it looks best. So we're just going to go ahead and paint this really quickly so we can paint the top part. Um, okay, that should be good. It, didn't, it did mirror properly. All right, cool. We're going to go ahead and fill paint all of this. All right, cool. We're going to fill paint the top of this. There we go. All right. We missed one. Okay, cool. Now that's done, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and um, paint a little perimeter around the floor. Well, the floor level, I guess you could say. So we're just going to paint a perimeter all the way around, including back here. Actually, we're, we haven't finished this part, so we're just going to leave that alone. Um, so we're going to paint another line right here, I guess, for now. And we're just going to go ahead and drag it all the way back. So we're just going to leave this part alone. Actually, okay, we're not going to paint this top part. But what we are going to do is we're going to paint the windows really quickly as well as their frames, so that'll be good. We're just gonna paint everything, including these back ones black. But these ones I'm going to paint around the frame just because, I don't know why, but I think it'll look good. So we're gonna paint everything, including these and these inner parts. So we're just going to leave these parts blank though, just the frames. All right, cool. Um, I'm not certain if I should paint the perimeter of these. I might, it might look cool. But I'm not certain on that. So I'm going to go ahead and actually I'll, I'll paint that really quick. Um, yeah, all right. So I th yeah, I'm gonna leave this blank at the moment. So now we're gonna start on the mast of it. Actually, let's go ahead and do the front cannon. Do we have a fluid? nozzle or a fluid cannon I guess you could say um not yet okay so for this front part we're just gonna go ahead and add a little platform I guess you could say um and have a fluid hose anchor or yeah a fluid hose anchor right in the dead center and we're just gonna go ahead and delete these and make it more round and then add a toggle button for the pumps these ones right here, or not the pumps. All right, so we're gonna go ahead, delete downwards. All right, so I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for the interior. I still need to figure out what I'm gonna do for the back part. Um, so at the moment, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, work on this back part right here. So I think I'm going to change it into sort of a round back part. So it's going to, I'm going to go ahead and delete a couple layers of this, and I'm going to change these to different wedges. For the first part, it's going to be one by one wedges. The next is going to be one by two wedges. And then the last part is going to be one by four wedges uh, to have this round sort of back sensation. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and add them right here. So there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and fill it in, and we'll go ahead and delete this right here. Um... So I'm going to go ahead and delete uh, three blocks of it, uh, three wide at least, um, just in case we want to like add a crane in the future here. So we're just going to go ahead and build it up like this. Uh, we're going to go ahead and fill this part in so it doesn't leak water. And we're just going to go ahead and leave it, uh, we'll just leave it like th this at the moment. So we're going to paint this part right here, this color, and now we're going to fill this in with that color same with this this is going to be black as well um now we're gonna give, go ahead and paint this now for the deck we're gonna paint it a color of gray probably this one this seems like a reasonable gray color for it um so we're gonna go ahead and name this uh pumps for now it'll activate the pumps when we need them to uh, too, and this one will also be pumps so it'll basically pump the water up to this area up here and so you can attach your hose which is right here um, and go ahead and spray everywhere so what we're going to do is we're also going to add a empty spot for spare uh, things that you have in your inventory just in case you need to like get rid of it really quickly um, and if you do have something, uh, you, you don't have to drop it and lose it off the ledge or anything. So that'll be good. Um, 
So now we're going to go ahead and start on the mast. So it's going to be fairly tall, probably this tall, I want to say. And we're just going to start out with a simple post. Uh, we're going to go ahead and add these sidebars, I guess you could say, like uh, this of some sort. So there's going to be a decoration radio, or we might add a real radio, but at the moment we don't have any pivots, so we're just going to leave that there. So this will go up. Um, we might want to just go ahead and drag this up to there for design. Okay, I'm not certain how I like that. So we're just going to leave that like that at the moment, I guess. Uh, I think that's fine. I'm going to add these support looking things. I suppose we're going to bring them down a block. And for here, we're just going to place this right here. Um, I'm not certain how I like this. I don't think I do like it. So maybe if we add posts like this like that um i don't know i'm most likely gonna go back and fix it but for now i'm gonna leave it okay so i'm gonna go ahead delete get rid of that paint because we don't need that there but for this area we're going to go ahead paint them because we didn't do it yet so we're just going to paint the inside perimeter just like that and then we'll leave it from there after we do this one there we go all right cool um Okay, now we're going to go ahead and do the uh, inside a bit. So we're just going to get rid of this right here really quickly. All right. Um, so this is uh, going to be a temporary bridge until we get more stuff uh, that we can actually use, like uh, monitors. We don't have monitors. We don't have any sort of mechanical items like pivots or hinges or any of that. So um, for now, we're just going to get the necessities or just simple things like the clutch the throttle all that and we're just going to go ahead and we'll, we're going to do something like the the helicopter thing that we did the air tanker we're going to limit the rps to we'll go with 15 i want to say and then the minimum for 2.35 and this will be the engine rps target i guess we could say Actually, what should it, what should it be? We'll just go engine throttle, and then our, we'll just go ahead and add RPS. So we know that it's for the RPS uh, target for the PID sensor or whatever it is, um, PID controller. Um, so this one will be clutch, simple. And okay, we're gonna add. T uh, let's see, a push button right here. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and place it down right here and then for this we can do a toggle button uh this will be hmm, i think actually we'll change this to a dial for fuel so we're going to go ahead and add this for really quickly this will be fuel there we go we're just going to add it at every 1000 it rotates around one time for now um this one will be the engine starter all right cool um now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a couple of other displays just right here like the speed the battery all that just temporarily this is going to be a temporary uh, helm just because we don't have everything we need so this one will be battery okay this is going to be zero this will be 100 um okay this will be the meters per second and we're going to change that to knots but not right now okay this one um what should we do um I don't know, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag these ones right here over one, like that. Um, now we're going to place this here. Alright, so this one will be, this vehicle, I think we're going to go with three engines. So this will be engine one, RPS. Okay, we're going to change this to a maximum of 15. And we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste the dial several times. So paste and paste. Now we will merge it. 
like so. Okay, this will be engine two RPS. This will be engine three RPS. Um, in the future, we might change it uh, to maybe five engines, six engines, or something like that. Actually, you know what? I think I will go with six engines. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and grab all this. I'm gonna cut it, and I'm going to move it to this stand over here that'll show all the engine RPS. So we're just going to go ahead and make a little stand right here. Okay, so this is going to have all three of them, all, all six engines of RPS. So we're just gonna go ahead and merge it like that. And then we'll go ahead and place this here. Then this part, we'll just add little wedges right here to, just for design. So this will be engine one, this will be engine two, this will be engine three. This will be engine 4, this will be engine 5, this will be engine 6. Alright, now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add 6 more dials. Actually, no, not, not at the moment. Do we have indicators? Okay, we do. Um, okay, I really should add like an engine controller. Uh, seat or station, but I might do that in the future, but not at the moment. Okay, so um, Oh shoot, I forgot to paint this right here. So we're just going to go ahead and fill paint this. Oh, this whole back area I forgot to fill paint. Well, paint it me. Um, okay, we're just gonna go ahead and paint this really quickly Including this right here. Actually, we should probably turn on mirror mode. That might help just a bit <laughs> All right, now what we're gonna do is we're, gonna, we're going to repaint the prop after we finish painting this all the way. Okay, there we go, cool. Now we're gonna change it to this color. There we go, perfect. All right, um, actually, you know what? I might make the water line down here black. I'm not certain, I might, it might just look good. So we're just gonna go ahead and paint all of this to the color of black, including this and this, and then the bottom of the bow as well. And uh, we'll go ahead and make a line from here all the way to over here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and draw the line right here. Okay, we're gonna paint this and we're just going to draw this. Actually, you know what? Um, we're gonna raise it a couple blocks to approximately up here. Okay, so how we're gonna paint it quickly is we're just going to save this as a fireboat. And we're going to go right here and copy all this all the way up front. Okay, you know what? We're gonna raise it one block the water line. So we're just gonna drag it all the way up to here and get all this as well as all of this. All right, we're gonna cut it. We're gonna click new vehicle. Okay, we're gonna paste it. Now we're gonna do replace all red with the black, like so. Okay, now we're gonna quickly just unpaint that. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear content. Um, now we're gonna cut it and load up this vehicle right here. And now we're gonna paste it back in. All right, cool. That's a quick trick that works pretty well and it did in this situation but what we're going to do really quickly is we're going to lower the water line by one block that'll work perfectly fine so we're just going to paint all the way back to the very back like this all the way back to here all right cool so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to save this and I I'm going to end the episode here, so thank you guys all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and join the Discord. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, you might as well turn on notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Anyways, guys, bye for now.